We need to keep our journey forward to the future. We need to keep our eyes on how it's going to end up. It's what we need to do. And if we do that, we'll live every day like it's the luckiest day of our life. There's a little boy some years ago, and he got up and caught the bus and went to school. When he was getting off the school bus, he tripped and fell and hit his head and cut it. They carried him down to the doctor's offices some years ago. They sewed it up. Well, he come back to school, and he got to play it on the playground, and lo and behold, he got hit in the mouth with a ball, knocked one of his teeth out, and he was toothless. You know how they did back in those days, just take the tooth and give it to you and hope the fairy comes. And then that afternoon, he was, playing on the, he was playing on the jungle gym, and he fell on the jungle gym and broke his arm. The principal carried him down to the doctor, and they set it and put it in a sling. And the principal thought, you know, I need to carry his kid home before something worse happens to him. He had a bad day. So he's driving the kid to his house, and he looks down, and the kid's got something in his hand. And he asked the little boy, he called his name, he said, what's in your hand? He said, oh, this is, he, he looks at him with his grin, with his toothless grin that cut on his head. And all, he said, he said uh, I got a quarter. He said, what did you do? He said, I found it. He said, today is the luckiest day of my life, isn't it? <laughs> you know, we need to have that attitude, don't we? Uh, I don't care what our circumstances are. I don't th- care how bad things around us are. We need to realize we're the luckiest people in the world because we've had a journey forward into the future and we, saw it, we see how it's going to end. And uh, it ought to make all the difference in the world. That's hope. We know how it's going to end.